Okay, well, we'll see if this is a happy outcome or not. Um, what I have here is what I hope to be the first power up and test of the drive connections. Um, yeah, I have not powered this up yet. Uh, I've done some bench tests, so I know that everything should be set up correctly, but uh, we'll see. Um, I've got my main power switch there that feeds into the primary bus. It's a 24 volt bus. Right now it's hooked up to a bench power supply. The 24 volts goes to that little distribution block, which powers each of the three motor controllers. The one in the middle isn't being used just yet, but I do have the drives hooked up to each of the other motor controllers. And then also uh, out here off of the main bus, we branch off to a voltage regulator that down converts to eight and a half volts. Uh, which is what is powering the Kyber board. The uh, Kyber board is also connected to the RC receiver, which I have on kind of a long umbilical right now just for uh, just to cut down on interference. Um, and then we also have the connection from uh, the Kyber board down to the Maestro. And the Maestro right now simply has the four drives hooked up to the channels. So, uh, Let's see what happens. All right, the switch is off. Let me go ahead and turn on the transmitter. Welcome to Ethos. Switch warning. Oh, what's turned on? Ah, the kill switch is up. So I see I've set it up right now with uh, the B2. This transmitter is awesome. I'll be doing some videos on that a little bit later. All right, so, whoops. I only meant to put the output button. Let's see, there we go. All right, outputting, everything is turned off. Nothing on the transmitter. Let's turn everything on. All right. Don't see any smoke. Got our transmitter. All right, so let's see what happens. Actually, I want to do the other. So I have not checked the polarity of the motors. So things seem to be working. This is the strafing. If I strafe left, see opposite corners are moving. Haha, <laughs> this is kind of working. Next is going to be to get him on the ground and off of the paint buckets. Well, there you go. First live test. Um, this is pretty exciting. I need to uh, process this, but uh, I'll be posting some updates soon. And uh, thanks for watching.